The deployment of American missiles with a range of 460 to 3,000 kilometers in Germany makes the population of Germany absolutely defenseless against Russian nuclear weapons. Retired Bundeswehr Brigadier General Erich Wad writes about this in his article for the German publication Berliner Zeitung. According to him, Berlin and Washington made the corresponding decision on the sidelines of the NATO summit in July of this year. In his article, Wad first of all, draws attention to the fact that the decision to deploy American missiles was made without broad public discussions in Germany itself. Simply put, no one asked the population of Germany at all. However, the consequences in the event of a direct military clash between Russia and the North Atlantic Alliance will be very sad. First of all, for Germany. This will make our country even more vulnerable to Russian nuclear weapons, states Erich Wad. Developing his idea, the retired Bundeswehr general emphasizes that in the event of a conflict between Russia and NATO, it is Germany that will become the staging ground and logistics platform for the Western military bloc. And this risk will not be shared with Berlin by other member countries of the alliance. This is a purely bilateral agreement, not a joint agreement within the North Atlantic Alliance. Furthermore, the bilateral decision taken was not taken after a corresponding in-depth discussion within NATO. The deployment is carried out exclusively in Germany, contrary to the principle of burden and risk sharing, which sharply exposes and singles out Germany politically and in terms of its security, explains the retired general. In his opinion, there will be no benefit from deploying American missiles in Germany anyway, since Russia will adapt its nuclear planning towards Germany and accelerate the rearmament of its nuclear forces. He emphasizes that the final decision on this matter should only be made after public debate within the country. The Russian advance on Pokrovsk does not only threaten vital supply routes, the city itself, and all its civilians. It also creates an extremely dangerous situation for Ukrainian forces south of Pokrovsk. As Forbes analyst David Axe writes, the Russians approaching Pokrovsk outflanked Ukrainian forces holding a line between the village of Memrik and the Vovcha River, which runs north to south, three miles east of Memrik. The result is an open salient jutting eastward into the Russian line a salient that, with a few decisive Russian maneuvers, could become a trap for hundreds of Ukrainian troops. The analyst writes, Inside this salient are units of the 59th Motorized Infantry Brigade, the 68th Jaeger Brigade, the 117th Territorial Defense Brigade, and the 15th National Guard Brigade. At the same time, the analyst notes that the integrity and stability of these Ukrainian forces depends on the 25th Airborne Brigade, which is defending the village of Ukrainsk in the northern direction of this section. The Ukrainian retreat may already have begun, the analyst writes, and this is a smart move on the part of the Ukrainian command. Withdrawal from this salient would give the Russians about 30 square miles, but would preserve the integrity of the Ukrainian battalions at a critical moment, the analyst notes. In addition, some optimistic assessments of the fighting around Pokrovsk indicate a slowdown in the Russian advance, which could give the Ukrainians time and space to strengthen their defenses and logistics and save the city. There are not enough troops. There are so few that the loss of parts of four brigades could be catastrophic for the Ukrainians. At the same time, a successful evacuation of these almost encircled troops could strengthen the straightened and shortened Ukrainian line, the Forbes analyst believes. He emphasizes that this will probably be the most optimistic outcome for the Ukrainians defending Pokrovsk since, according to experts, stabilization in this section of the front line is possible by autumn after the Russian army has exhausted its offensive potential. Recently, The Telegraph reported that Russian troops were advancing in the direction of Pokrovsk in Donetsk Oblast. It was assumed that Ukraine could lose Pokrovsk as early as September, since the actions of the occupiers threatened to encircle large sections of the Ukrainian front. Volodymyr Zelensky stated that Russian invader troops have not advanced in the Pokrovsk direction while a fairly large number of Russian troops have been transferred from the occupied part of southern Ukraine, the Zaporizhia region and the Kherson region, to the Kursk region of the Russian Federation.